Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with my A10T friends. We are going to use the M166 command and make some sweet gradients. So let's get cracking. So on the screen is a flexible snake. This dude is awesome. He prints with gaps, and when you're done, you can pull him off the printer. He is totally bendy. I have used the sweet M166 gradient command to code the colors I want. I've got three colors in the printer, red, yellow, and blue. And in one simple step, I can set it so that we can print whichever combination we want. So my friends, let me show you how that works. With the snake in place, we are gonna go to settings, printer, and we are gonna find the manage printers button. We're using the A10T, and we're gonna go to machine settings. When you look at your code, if you've set your printer up like mine, like the video showed, I'll put a link in the description or I'll put a card so that you can actually find that video. All I've done is add an M166 at the end. It's got an S1, which enables the gradient. And then I've got the starting height, which is two millimeters I chose, and the ending height, which is six. Now my little snake is eight millimeters high, so what I'm saying is I want two millimeters of the first color, two millimeters of the second color, and then I want them to do the gradient in between that, between two and six. And then the one and the two are the different nozzles that I'm choosing. So I've got zero, which is blue, I've got one, which is yellow, and I've got two, which is red. So this did a yellow-red combination, this time I'm going to change it to be a red and then blue. So I'll put a two first and then I'll put a zero for the J so it'll switch to the blue when that snake is created. You always have to give it a second to catch up. And now when I hit close and close, I've got to slice it because I've got the automatic slicing turned off. I'm doing 0.3 millimeter layers. Uh, 210, 60 for my build plate, 60 for my speed, Ret retraction is enabled, and then I have also found I'm doing six lines of skirt and I'm doing 10 distance. That's because when I switch colors at the start of the new print, it cleans it out better so that the bottom layer is the color that I'm expecting it to be. And I'm also printing via USB. I could save these to an SD card so I could reuse them. Today though, I'm just experimenting and sending them with USB. So let's go see what we're making. Not my favorite location for the 3D printer because of the air conditioner right behind me, but at least we can see how it is starting and switching before those gradients kick in. Alrighty friends, so after printing you can see we have our different combinations and a few nice things about this. These filaments mix pretty well, so you can see that I've got green. So right now I only used the 0, 1, and 2 colors, but we can also use those virtual extruders, and I should be able to make orange and green and also purple. So more things to explore as I work through this project. Friends, just a quick heads up, that M166 command only works with Marlin 2.0, so that is one of the reasons you should update your firmware. Of course, I've made the video for the firmware. I'll put a link up above if you're trying to track that down. And of course, friends, you can see how fun it is creating your own awesome flexible shapes using the multicolors with that sweet M166 command. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.